اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اینڈ ویلکم ٹو ویک ایٹ منڈیز کلاس آئی ہوپ یو آر آل ڈوئنگ ویل اینڈ یو ہیڈ ریئلی نائس اینڈ ریلیکسنگ ہالیڈیز اینڈ یو ہاف ٹرم سو لیٹس اسٹارٹ ود آور منڈیز دعا اف آئی کوڈ ہیو اے اسٹوڈنٹ ٹو دا مائک پلیز ان جی 1506 پلیز ان میٹ دم سیلف Assalamu alaikum G1506. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you today? I'm good. How about you? Alhamdulillah. I'm very well. And jazakumullah for asking. Let's start with thousand tasmiya. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ربش رحلی ربش رحلی صدری صدری ویسر لی ویسر لی امری املی very nicely recited can you read the translation for me please Lord, expand me, my mind and make my task easy for me. Very nice. And do you know what this means, Taha 26 to 27? Um, it's on the hard book. It's on, yes, it's on in, in Quran, in Surah Taha. And um, the verse is 26 and 27. So this part is verse 26 and this part is verse 20, 27. Probably you can have um, a grown up with you after the class and they can show it to you in the Holy Quran where it is. Jazakumullah Ji 1506. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay, I'm quickly going to go through our etiquettes today. Um, I hope you've all done your wudu. You're wearing clean clothes and your head is covered with a scarf or a topi, a hat, and you're sitting in a quiet place. You are signed in with the correct ID um, and uh, a, some, a parent um, is or a growing up is present with you. Um, that would be great. Just about the correct IDs, I would like to uh, mention here that um, we might not be letting... Um, Um, students in if they are signed in with the correct um, incorrect ID. Okay, let's see what we are going to do today. So today we are going to learn about Madhalin and Madhalin has two parts. One is Waulin and one is Yalin. And this material can be, um, can be found in page um, 20, uh, sorry, 71 to 72. And today we will be doing, ex- doing exercises 16.1, 2 and 3. Okay, let's start with Maddalene then. So Maddalene is called soft elongation. And I will start reading the text and I can um, start explaining it to you as well. Okay, so lean means to ease or to soften. Okay, hence the name Maddalene. Um, in the rules of recitation, if vow and ya are strokeless, meaning sakin, so For example, here, there is a vowel with a sakun sign, this um, on top of it. This is called vowel sakin and ya sakin because ya carries a sakun sign, also known as jism. And they are preceded by a consonant bearing the stroke of fata. Just like here, vowel carries a sakun sign and preceded, meaning before that, there is a consonant, consonant, a letter here. carrying a fatah, okay? So they are called al-haruf al letter of ease. So vow and ya are al-haruf al okay? So they're, they're letters of ease. In the above Quranic examples, both types can be seen. Okay, so here you can see, th- these are actually examples from, uh, from the Holy Quran, okay? And here you can see uh, Waulin, and here you can see Yalin. Again here, I will go through them in a minute. Okay, let's see what Waulin is. Recognition of Waulin. When Waul Sakin, meaning Waul carrying a Sukun sign, is called a vowel sakin, is preceded by a consonant carrying a stroke of fatha, 
as um, explained before. So he, Bao Sakin, carries a letter which, which carries, um, sorry, precedes a letter which carries a fata, is called Vao Lin, as shown in the example above. So a Vao carrying a Sukun sign, and we have to see if before that there is a letter carrying a fata. Yes, there is. So this must be Vao Lin. Okay. Now um, let's see what Ya Lin is. When Ya Sakin is preceded with a consonant carrying the stroke of fata, so here, ya carrying a sakun sign, meaning this is ya sakin. Okay. Before that, there is ba with the fata. Yes. So it is ya lin. Okay. So um, you have we have recognized ya lin because ya um, carrying sakun and a letter before that carrying fata. It is called ya lin, shown in the example above from the Holy Quran. Okay, just here. I will go through these examples now. So what we do, um, here we have Vau uh, Sakin carrying, um, uh, Vau carrying a Sukun sign. And before that we have a Fatah. So we know this is Vau Lin, letters of elongation, letter of elongation. And what do we do? We read it and we prolong it for a bit longer than one second, okay? Ow, ow, okay? So this is um, wow sakin. Again, uh, sorry, wow lean. And again, with ya lean, we join it and we prolong it for two seconds, for a bit longer than one second, about two seconds. Hai, hai. Okay, and again here we have vow sakin, and preceding it there is a uh, there is um, a letter with the fata ha with the fata, and we will read um, we we have rec recognized um, vow lean, and it will be prolonged for two seconds and read softly how how again here we have ya, and preceding it we have a letter which carries a fata, and we will, uh, we have recognized yalin, lai, lai, again, here we have vowlin, because before the vowel, we have a ya with a fata, yau, yau, and here we have ya with the sukun sign, ya sakin, and meme, before that we have a meme with the fatha. Mai, mai. Okay, I'll read this example. Au hai na, au hai na. Hau lai ni, hau lai ni. Yau mai ni. Okay, if I could have a student to the mic, please. Can G1519 please unmute themselves? Asalaamu Alaikum, G1519. Asalaamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Asalaam, how are you today? Good, how are you? I'm very well, alhamdulillah, and jazakumullah for asking. Let's start with thousand tasmiya. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Very nice. So, um, do you know the two, two rules uh, by which we can uh, recognize vowlin? How we can recognize it if Va or Ya has a jazm and a consonant before it has a fata on it, it becomes a Va or Ya lean. Wow, that was so beautifully explained. Well done. I'm very amazed. Jazakumullah. And let's 
um, have um, let's read this um, a word here. Do you think you can have a go at it? Yes. Okay. Oh, hey, na. Very nice. So you prolonged it for a bit longer than one second. This vowel lean here. And the ya lean you prolonged it for, for a bit longer as well. That was very beautifully read. Oh, hi, na. Oh, hey, na. Very nice. Do you want to have a go at this bit? Okay. Oh, hey, Very nice. So the prolongation again was beautifully done. Vowelin was prolonged. Yalin was prolonged and you made sure that the noon was just, um, it was not prolonged. Very nice. How laini? How laini? Very pretty. Remember that the ha, this ha, has to be pronounced from the middle of your throat. Okay? Carry on with this bit here. Yo maini. Very nice. Again, the prolongation was very nicely done. Yao maini. Yo maini. Very beautifully read G1519. Jazakumullah and Allah Hafiz. Jazakumullah Allah Hafiz. Okay. If we could have another student to the mic, please. Can G1302 please unmute themselves? Assalamu alaikum, G1302. Assalamu alaikum, G1302. Okay. Shall we have another student to the mic? Can G1338 please unmute themselves? Assalamu alaikum, G1338. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm very well, alhamdulillah. And jazakumullah for asking. Shall we start with thousand tasmiya? A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Very nice. Jazakumullah. So, um, do you understand what wow, wow, wow lean and ya lean are? Yes. Okay. So, do you want to tell me in this example where the wow lean is? Which um, color is it? Can you tell me which color it is in this example? It's the. Um, the red one it's do you very close it's the vowel here with the jism and it's or the sakun sign okay so wow carrying a, a sakun sign and preceding it if there is a preceding meaning before it if there is a letter carrying a fata okay then the a vowel becomes a vowelin very nice okay so let's have a go can you pronounce this part of the example? Yo. Very nice. So a tiny little bit longer. Yo. Yo. Very nice. And can you carry on and read the, um, the rest of the word? Yo. Middini. Very nice. Yo. Middini. Yo. Middini. Very nice. Okay, so here we have the vowel lean here because before it we have ya with the fata. Okay, and then we will pro prolong it for a bit longer than a, a second. And can you spot where the second vowel lean is in this example? Is it the second one? Yes, it's the second blue one here because before it we have meme with the fata and the vowel carries a sakun sign so it becomes vowelin. Do you want to have a go at reading it? Yeah. Very nicely read and the timing was correct as well. 
Well done. Remember, the ayn is also pronounced from the middle of your throat, okay? Udi. Udi. Very nice. Try to practice the ayn a bit. Um, everything else was very nicely read. Um, the timing was perfect, and you can spot the vowel in here. Jazakum Allah G1338. Allah Hafiz. Jazakum Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay. Let's have another student to the mic, please. Can G1350 please unmute themselves? Assalamualaikum G1350. Assalamualaikum G1350. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm very well. Alhamdulillah. And Jazakumullah for asking. So, um, do you understand Waulin and Yali? Yes. Okay. Can you spot in this example which color the Yali is? Blue. Blue, very nice. So Yalin is blue and it's Yalin because it carries a sukun sign and before it we have a letter carrying a fata. We have a bar carrying the, a fata. Do you want to try and read this example? Very nice. So you did prolong the uh, Yalin for a bit. Very nice. Bainakum. Bainakum. Very nice. Okay. Now, hey, can you spot where the Yalin is? Um, next to the star. Oh, well done. And it is a Yalin because, could you tell me why it is a Yalin? It has a sarkin and there's a futa before it. Very well done. And you know the rule now. Um, very nicely explained. Okay, try and read this example, please, for me. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, well done. Naka. Naka. Well done. So with the Yalin, we know that we have to prolong it for a bit longer than one second. Okay. Well done. Do you know what kind of letter the door is here? It's a, really. it's a thick letter, meaning you have to round oh. your mouth a bit when you um, when you read it. To, okay? But it was very, you read it really nicely. Well done. Okay, let's see which ya from these two ya's is the uh, ya lean. Can you tell me, is it the blue one or is it, is it the red one? The blue one. <laughs> Yes, very nice. The blue one. Well done. Try and read this example, please. <coughs> okay, very nice try. Uh, do you know how to read this bit, the red and the blue bit? Do you want to try for me? Yeah. Yes, you have to join this ya with this ya, which carries a sakun sign, a sakin, um, and then prolong it for two seconds. So, yay. Yay. Well done. Now try to read the whole bit. Whole bit. Husna yayna. Ni. Well done. Husna yaini. Husna yaini. 
Very nice. That's perfect. Well done. And Jazakum Allah Ji, you won three, five, zero. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay. Let's start with our exercise here then. If I could have a student to the mic. Can G1360 please unmute themselves? Assalamu alaikum, G1360. Assalamu alaikum, G1360. Okay, if we could have a different student to the mic then. Can G1484 please unmute themselves? Asalaamu Alaikum G1484. Asalaamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Asalaam. How are you today? Good. Alhamdulillah. Let's start with Thousand Tasmiya. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. Okay, if if you could read this these two bits for me, do you know what kind of letter this is? Alif. Alif. And hey, do you know how you read this bit? Ah. Ah, well done. And again, hey? Ah. Ah, now here we have our rule for today. Do you know what kind of letter this is? Uh, what kind of, sorry, what kind of wow this is? We've been learning it today. It's called wow. Wow. Lean. Wow lean? Yes, it's wow lean. And can you pronounce this for me, please? Oh. Oh, well done. That was correctly read. And can you read this bit for me? Ah, uh, oh, well done. And can you read this for me as well, please? I. I. Well done. You read the ow and the I very correctly. You prolonged it for two seconds. And uh, this bit, and you prolong this for two seconds. So, do you know the rule for the vowelin and the yalin? Okay, I'll repeat the rule for the vowelin and the yalin. For the vowelin, you uh, you have a vowel with the sukun sign, and for the and before that, there is an alif with the fatha, and for the yalin, we have a ya with the sukun sign. And then an alif with the fatha before that. Well done. Very nicely read. Jazakumullah G1484. Allah Hafiz. Jazakumullah. Allah Hafiz. Okay. If I could have a different student to the mic, please. Can G1432 please unmute themselves? Assalamu alaikum G1422. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Alhamdulillah. And Jazakum Allah for asking. Um, let's start with Thousand Tasmiya. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Very nicely recited. Um, could you have a go at reading this column for me, please? Uh, ba. Very nice. Uh, and, okay, could you read this again for me, please? Bo. Very nice. So you recognize that this is a wow lean. Um, just could you make it a tiny little bit longer? Bow. Bow. That's it. Now here, uh, what kind of ya is this? Yes. And we have a bar carrying a fata before that. 
So it makes it a ya lean. Lean. Well done. Could you read this for me, please? Bay. Bay. Well done. And you did prolong it for a bit longer than one second. That was very nicely read. Could you have a go at this bit as well for me, please? Uh, uh, uh. Very nice. Make sure because um, the ta, these two ta's, it just they just carry a fata, so we don't prolong it at all. Okay, we just read it um, for just you know read the fata ta ta. Okay. Jazakumullah G1422 and Allah Hafiz. All right, if I could have another student to the mic, please. Can G1470 please unmute themselves? Assalamu alaikum, G1470. Assalamu alaikum, G1470. Okay, if we could have a different student, please. Can G1491 please unmute themselves? Asalaamu Alaikum G1491. D1491, Assalamu Alaikum. Okay, I think we have very shy students today. Could we have a different student, student then? Can G1711 please unmute themselves? Assalamu Alaikum, G1711. G1711, Assalamu Alaikum. Okay, maybe a different student. Can G1556 please unmute themselves? Assalamu Alaikum, G1556. Assalamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Assalam. How are you today? Good, how are you? I'm very well, alhamdulillah, and jazakumullah for asking. Shall we start with thousand tasmiya? A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Very nice. So can you read this for me, please? Ma. Ma. And this bit? Ma. Very nice. So we have alif. This means... We have to prolong the ma for two seconds. This alif will be called alif madhya. We, we um, did this um, the week before the half term. Very nice. Okay, so this example, could you read this for me, please? Tau. Very nice. So you did recognize the ya, uh, ta, uh, sorry, waolin, and you did prolong the tau for two seconds. And this part. Sa. Sa. Very nice. Remember, with this sa, you touch your tongue with your upper teeth to read it very softly. Sa. Sa. That was a lot better. Keep practicing. Well done. And read this example for me, please. Day. Okay. And you know with Yaleen, what do we do? You prolong it for two seconds. Nearly two seconds. Well done. So, do you want to read it again for me, please? Yeah. Tai. That's it. Tai. Tai. Very nice. And this again, please, for me. Sa. Sa. Very nice. Very nicely read G1556. Jazakumullah and Allah Hafiz. Okay, let's have another student to the mic, please. Can G1743 please unmute themselves? 
Assalamualaikum G1743. Assalamualaikum G1743. Okay, maybe a different student now. Can G1768 please unmute themselves? Assalamu alaikum. G1768, Assalamu alaikum. Right, let's carry on. Can G1768? Assalamu alaikum. Are you G1768? No, I was, I was, I am G1768. Yes. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome, Islam. How are you today? Fine. How are you? Al Alhamdulillah. I'm very well in Jazakumullah for asking. Let's start with Thousand Tasmiya. Uzbillahi mina shaitan rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Very nice. Could you read this example for me, please? Yawma. Very nice. So you did prolong the vowel in for two seconds. Well okay. done. Yes. Yawma. Very nice. Let's carry on to this example then. Very nice. What type of letter is the ra in here? It has a. Sorry, could you say that again, please? Are you talking about the fatta? Uh, yeah, I'm talking about this roin he, ro. Uh, you read it correctly, but can you tell me what kind of letter the ro, ro is he, roin? I finished. Uh, it's a thick letter. I think we, uh, we covered this right at the beginning of the course. So this is a thick letter and we read it with our mouth rounded. But you did read it correctly. Just wanted to go through the rulers a bit. Ro dao. Ro dao. Very nice. Try and read this example here for me, please. Anstauna. Very nice. So um, with the vowelin, you did prolong it. Could you prolong it for a bit longer, a little bit longer, tiny bit? Tansauna. That's it. That's a, that's perfectly um, prolonged. Tansauna. Tansauna. Very nice. Very nicely read G1768. Jazakumullah and Allah Hafiz. Okay, let's have the next student to the mic now. Can G1572 please unmute themselves? Assalamu alaikum, G1572. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum How are you today? My buds are a bit loud. I'm going to change my room, please. Okay. Sorry for that. I'm okay. How are you? Alhamdulillah. I'm very well. And Jazakumullah for asking. Shall we start with Thousand Tasmiya? Yes. A'uzu billahi min shaitan rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Very nicely recited. Can you read this part for me, please? Low. Low. Very nice. You did correct yourself, and that was correctly read. It is a vowelin, and we prolong it for, two, for a bit longer than one second, about two seconds. Could you read this bit for me, please? Very nice try. So here we have to join three letters together. Oh. The vowel with the lamb, it carries the tashdeed and we have to press on it. And then... So it's like... Uh, well, no. That's it. That's, that's perfectly read now. Before, um, it was pressed a bit less, but now it was perfectly read. Well done. That well, no. That's it. Now, can you read this example for me, please? Okay. 
very nice. You did prolong the vowel for the, the vowel lean for two seconds. And with the ayn here, we have a vertical fatah here. Do you know what we do with this? You pronounce it for two counts. Yes. Do you want to do this for me, please? Very nice. Very nice. Um, let's read one more um, example here. Could you read this for me, please? Okay, try read this bit first. If you just bear with me one second. Okay. Okay, so how lahu? How lahu? Very nice. Um, just the vowel lean here. We have to prolong it for a tiny bit longer. How lahu? How how lahu? Very nice. Jazakumullah. G one five seven two. Allah hafiz. Allah hafiz. Allah hafiz. Okay, let's have another student to the mic now. Can G1799 please unmute themselves? Assalamu alaikum, G1799. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you today? Good, how are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm very well. And Jazakumullah for asking. Um, let's start with Thousand Tasmiya. A'uzu billahi min shaitanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Very nicely recited. Let's start with this example here. Da, da, da. Try again. Da, ro, da, ro. Very nice. Very nice try. You know we have vowelin here. What do we do with vowelin? We uh we combine it with the letter before. Yes, and then once it's and combined, then, and then we read it. Yes, and we prolong it for a bit longer than um, the normal fatah. So we prolong it for about one and a half to two seconds. Okay, okay. try now again. Sorry. Okay, remember Sorry. there is a fatah on the raw. Taru. Tarau. Tarau. Well done. Very nice. So remember, the, the vowel carries a sukun sign, and before the vowel, there is a raw with the fatah. So we combine the, we join the raw with the vowel, raw, and then we prolong it for a bit. Raw. Raw. Okay. Now try this bit. Here again, we have vowel lean. Read the first part here, and then we can have a go at reading this part. Yo. Well done. That was correctly read, and you prolonged it for the right amount of time. Okay, try and read this. Mom. Very nice. Yo man. Yo man. Very nice. Let's read this part here. Eh? You can split it up as you want to. La sofa. Very nice. So you read it really nicely. You did prolong the vowelin very nicely. Well done. Try and read this example here. Oh. Try again, please. Could you read this again for me? Oh. Okay, remember this is a roin. Ro. 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 Very nice. Do you know what kind of letter the to is? It's a photo. It is. A it carries a photo. Sorry? Thick. Thick letter, very well done. And with the thick letters, we um, round them a bit. You did it correctly. Just want to go through the rules a bit. Well done, Jazakumullah, G1799. Very nicely read. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. 
Allah Hafiz. Let's have another student to the mic now. Can G1366 please unmute themselves? Assalamu alaikum, G1366. G1366. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Alhamdulillah. I'm very well. Jazakumullah for asking. Let's start with Thousand Tasmiya. Auzu billahi min ash-shaitan ar-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman ar-Rahim. Nice. Uh, do you want to try and read this example for me, please? Okay. Yus yuska na. Okay. Remember, after the qaf, there is a va carrying a sakun sign. So you have to join the qaf with the vowel. Can you try to do, do, do that for me? Yes, Well done. And because the wow is a, is, is a wow lean, you did prolong it for, for a bit longer than one second, which was correctly done. Yes, Well done. Now try and read this bit, please. Almona. Okay, what is this? Can you read this bit for me? Do. Do. Well done. Try and read the whole bit for me again, please. Almautu. Well done. This is vowelin, and you have to prolong it for a bit longer than one second. Almautu. Almautu. Very nice. Okay, try and read this example for me. Ola. Okay, well done. With the vowelin, you read it correctly. Uh, remember, on the lam, there is a vertical fata, fata ishbaya. What do we do with the vertical fata? You prolong it for two, two mm -hmm. counts or two seconds. Well done. You know the rule. Try and read it for me, please. La. Well done. Now the whole example. Oh, la. Well done. That's it. That was perfectly read. Now try and read this example for me. I couldn't hear you just now. Could you repeat again, please? Fauqahum. Well done. Fauqahum. Fauqahum. Do you know what kind of um, letter the qaf is here? A sound from the middle of your throat. Well done. And it is a thick letter as well. So you, you, you sound it from the middle of your throat and it's it's a thick letter, which means you have to read it with your mouth rounded. You did read it correctly. I'm just repeating the rules a bit. Well done. Jazakumullah G1366. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay, let's carry on to exercise 16.3. If I could have a student to the mic, please. Can G1516 please unmute themselves? Assalamu alaikum G1516. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you today? I'm fine. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Jazakumullah for asking. Uh, let's start with Thousand Tasmiya. Okay. <coughs> Very nice. Can you read this example for me, please? Okay. So with the ha, you join it with the ya. Try and do that for me. That's a that's very nicely read. So you know this ya is a ya lean. You did prolong it for a bit longer. Well done. Hi, Su. Hi, Su. That's it. Very nice. Try and read this bit for me. Ataina. 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 Well done. Uh, remember uh, not to join the alif with the ta. Okay. So read it separately. Ataina. Okay. Ataina. That's very nicely read. Jazakumullah. And this let this word for me as well, please. Mumina. Mu mu minya minai. 
Well done. Very nice try. Let, let, let us split this up, okay? Read this bit for me first. Mu. That's it. Now this bit. Mi nei. Okay. Make the nei a little bit longer because, because we have a yarlene here. Okay. Mi nei ni. That's it. Mu mi nei ni. Mu mi nei ni. That's it. And here, just to recall what we did last, uh, the week before last week, we have he vow with a sakun sign. And before that, we have a zamma, which means we have a vow madhya. Okay, let's carry on and read this example. Low, low, do, they mean lay, la, do. Well done. You did prolong the ya for the, for the right amount of time. Lay, la, do. Lay, la, do. Well done. Now, this example for me, please. Bay, dear. Well Bye done. Tia. Bye, Tia. Bye, Tia. Well done. You are um, you are spotting the yarlins and the vowlins really correctly, and this is. Kaida. 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 Well done. Very nicely read. Jazakumullah. G one five one six. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Love is. Let's have a, another student to the mic, please. Can G1421 please unmute themselves? Asalaamu Alaikum, G1412. G1421. Okay. G1421. Asalaamu Alaikum. Asalaamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum How are you today? I'm fine. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm very well. Jazakumullah for asking. Let's start with thousand tasmiya. A'uzu billahi minati min shaitani rajim. Bismillahi rahmani rahim. Very nicely recited. Let's start with this example here. Very nice. You did spot the ya, uh, ya lean. Uh, just uh, prolong it for a little tiny bit longer. Fa -fa. Fa -fa. Very nice. And this example for me, please. Baina. Very nice. That was perfectly read. And this example for me. Uraishi. Try again. Uraishi. Remember, we have here we have two fatas. What do we do with these? Uh, sorry, it's two kasras. We make a nasal sound. Uraishin. Uraishin. Very nice. So we make a nasal sound here and we prolong it for a bit longer than one second, about two seconds. Okay. Very nice. Let's try and carry on with this example. Okay, there is a kasra underneath the noon. Very nice. That was very nicely read. Well done. And the Yalin was read correctly as well. Try and read this example for me, please. Fa'ayna. Very nice. Fa'ayna. 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 Well done. Try and read this. Be Okay, again, with the noon, how do you pronounce this? Mm. Very well done. Jazakumullah. So try and read this the whole example for me again. Very nice. 
be dainin very nicely recited g1421 allah hafiz allah hafiz okay um let's have one last student and then we can uh, see what time work we can we are going to have can g1322 please unmute himself assalamu alaikum g1322 assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam how are you today good how are you I'm well. Jazakumullah for asking. Let's start with thousand tasmiya. A'uzu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahirrahmanir rajeem. Okay, let's uh, read this example, please. Ra'ayta. Very nicely read. You did prolong this for a bit longer than one second. And this example here now. Ghayra. 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 Very nice. And this example for me, please. Ainun. Very nice. So I love the way you read the Ain. It was so correctly read. And with this Noon, you did the the nasal sound just we have to prolong it for a little bit longer okay i no i no very nicely recited g1322 the i is very difficult to to recite and it needs a lot of practice very nicely read allah hafiz allah hafiz okay now let's see what our homework for today is all right, so the homework is to revise soft elongation and practice exercises 6.2 and 6.3, which are these here, which we did today, these and this. And they are on page 72. Okay, now we can read our end dua. Just before finishing, if I could have a student to the mic, please. Can G1477 please unmute themselves? Assalamu alaikum, G1477. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you today? I'm fine. How are you? I'm well, alhamdulillah, and jazakumullah for asking. Let's start with thousand tasmiya. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Okay, if you could repeat after me. Waj'alhu. Waj'alhu. Li. Li. Imamawa Imamawa Nurawa Nurawa Hudawa Hudawa Rahmatan Rahmatan Very nice. Could you read the translation for me, please? And make it for me the leader, the light, the guidance, and the mercy. Very nicely. Jazakumullah G1477. And Allah Hafiz. Okay. He knows the recordings. I don't get those okay. on OneDrive. Okay. Um, I think you can find the recordings um, on YouTube. And um, I will um, try and ask, put the link to those um, in, the, in the group. Jazakumullah for asking for them. Thank you. Jazakumullah. And this brings us to the end of our class today. Jazakumullah for attending. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.